Call it spring, like everything's new. The sun bursts flowers, calling on warm days overdue. But I. Welcome back to my channel and I am whispering because the baby and my husband are still asleep and it's not that early it's already like 10 or 11 about to be 11 I've just been feeling I don't know I've been having like menstrual cramps that's what it feels like I am currently 36 and four days pregnant so I don't know if this is a sign of labor like <laughs> it's my fourth kid but I feel like every time it's different so I don't know if this is the real thing or not but I couldn't be in, in bed anymore, so I came and sit down for a little bit to see what happens. And the pain is still there, it comes and goes. So this might be it, this might not be it. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Hello you guys, and I think this is the real thing. Uh, the pain hasn't gone away. If anything, it's just, I feel like it's getting more intense. Um, uh, it's still manageable. I still can bear it. So I'm not trying to go to the hospital just because it could be false contractions, but I've never had false contractions before. It has always been the real thing when I feel them. But this time it kind of started like menstrual cramps. So it was, I was like, Mm, probably not probably it is probably not because my previous pregnancies my contractions always I would feel them on my lower back but my pain started like around 10 something I want to say and it's already 1 30 and I'm starting to feel them on my lower back too now so I think it's the real thing which I'm not ready because he is not supposed to be here well my due date was the 25th of november and today is the first and as i mentioned in my previous video my husband got into an accident two weeks ago to be exact and we just been dealing with that and i just haven't had time to do anything with this baby and I'm in a rush now because I don't even have anything for him and I feel so bad. So I am in the car waiting on my sister-in-law because she's going to go with me to Walmart just in case. And I'm just going to go get, um, I'm going to go get a few things for the baby and for me and in case I do have to go and have this baby today. And um, I went and took a shower just because it, makes everything feel better but she's here and i will keep you guys updated hello everybody well i did have my baby and it's already 10 o'clock at night it was just crazy so i couldn't really get any footage like i wanted to but i am so glad he's here and we're just waiting I know we're gonna probably stay here um, tonight and tomorrow so hopefully by Sunday I can leave because I just want to be comfortable in my own house you know but I am super excited he is here and I'm just ready ready for him to come home and start our journey and for him to meet his other two brothers, three brothers, well, two brothers, because he already met one. And so he's saying this to meet his other two brothers. But I will keep you guys updated. Everything went fine. We're good. He was a little early. 
Um, he was born at 36 weeks, so he weighed five pounds. So he's still he's tiny, but he's doing great. He is doing great, and I'm sorry I look like a mess. I didn't, I wasn't looking like this, <laughs> but like I said, it was just crazy. But I'll keep y'all updated. More, more, more. Keep going. So good. Another one. Good.